Chat GPT, Gemini and Copilot in Action, Strengths and Weaknesses. The advancement and integration of artificial intelligence chatbots into our digital lives marks a transformative era, potentially more dramatic and impactful than the mobile revolution. This shift is characterized by the emergence of sophisticated AI chatbots, notably ChatGPT, Bard, and Bing Chat. Bard is now called Gemini, and Bing Chat is now called Copilot. These chatbots redefine how we search for information, engage in conversations, and perform various tasks online and offline. Their name changes are somewhat confusing and may take the public some time to get used to. It is my personal opinion that Google should have kept the brand name Bard. It is too late to reverse it now. In this video, we will review and evaluate the chatbot capabilities for typical users provided by the three major players, ChatGPT, Gemini, and Copilot. Each of these services has a free version for public use, and a subscription version costs about $20 per month if you want to upgrade to a higher level of service. Below are brief descriptions of the free and upgraded versions for each service. The ChatGPT family. The URL to access ChatGPT and ChatGPT Plus is chat.openai.com. ChatGPT, powered by GPT 3.5, is not connected to internet search. Currently, this is the only major chatbot not connected to internet search. The upgraded version, ChatGPT Plus, is powered by GPT-4 and connected to internet search. It has enhanced capabilities for text processing, query answering, and more. The Gemini family. The URL to access Gemini and Gemini Advanced is, gemini.google.com. Gemini, formerly known as BARD, is powered by Google's Gemini Pro. It is connected to internet search and can work with the Google search easily. The upgraded version, Gemini Advanced, is powered by Gemini Ultra 1.0, which is the flagship language model in the Google Gemini family. It contains the most impressive power and capabilities. It excels at complex tasks like reasoning, planning, and understanding information across different modalities, like text, code, images, etc. The Copilot family. The URL to access Copilot and Copilot Pro is, copilot.microsoft.com. Copilot is powered by GPT-4 and Microsoft Prometheus language models. It is connected and integrated with the Bing search engine and Edge browser. The upgraded version, Copilot Pro, is powered by GPT-4, GPT-4 Turbo and Microsoft Prometheus language models offers enhanced features like priority access to Copilot's computing power, faster image creation, and tight integration with Microsoft 365 apps. Chatbot apps on mobile phones. In the above three chatbot families, ChatGPT and Copilot both have apps on iOS and Android mobile phones. Gemini only has an app for the Pixel 8, but not for the iPhone. To use Gemini on iPhone, you can use the same URL on Chrome or Safari browser. The mobile apps for these three chatbots are all free, but you need to log in using the same account for personal computers, so the subscription level stays the same as that on your PC account. There are many other chatbot apps with a similar name and claim to be powered by ChatGPT or Google, but these apps are not from these three services. Such apps also require subscription fees. As free versions of the chatbots are most widely available for public use, we will discuss the strengths and weaknesses of the free version of each chatbot in this video and leave the discussion of advanced or pro versions to a different video. Some of the weaknesses in the free versions have been improved and incorporated into their pro or advanced version, but it is still useful to know these weaknesses of an AI chatbot if you limit yourself to only using the free service. We update this video series periodically, so make sure to subscribe to this channel for regular updates. For a limited time period, channel subscribers can email us at ytandsmarttechs at gmail.com to request private videos or playlists at no cost. Preservation of continuity. Valuing both pre-trained and post-trained information and intelligence. All AI chatbots acquire and improve their knowledge and proficiency via training data, either pre-trained or post-trained. ChatGPT and Copilot retain their training continuity and transition seamlessly over different versions. Gemini, the former Bard, seems to have had a bumpier ride. The transition from Google's Lambda to Palm 2 on Bard, and now from Palm 2 to Gemini Pro on Gemini, shows a lack of continuity. In Google's Gemini, a lot of pre-trained and post-trained intelligence accrued by Bard seems not passed on to the current version of Gemini. 
Gemini Advanced tries to acquires its own post-trained intelligence. We hope this gap will be bridged quickly by Google. As an example of this gap, I asked the newly released Gemini the following question on February 13, 2024. When is Valentine's Day? Gemini answered. Valentine's Day actually just passed. It was celebrated on February 14, 2024, which was last Wednesday. Then I said, but today is only February 13, 2024. Gemini then said, you're absolutely right, and I apologize for the mistake. Today is indeed February 13, 2024, not Valentine's Day which is celebrated on February 14. I made a silly error in processing the date. Gemini lost a lot of its past trained knowledge and intelligence that BART accumulated. The reason we pointed this out is that, AI, chatbot's knowledge and intelligence grows over time. Each chatbot has its own strengths and weaknesses. Some weakness cannot be changed, but some can be improved and overcome over time. So, in the review and evaluation below, we are not going to nitpick on minor differences. Strengths and weaknesses of the three major chatbots. AI, chatbots have many capabilities, but they can be largely categorized into three modes of application. 1. Text processing mode. 2. Search and query answering mode, or simply query mode, and 3. Mathematics, programming and others. For most users, the primary focus is on the first two modes of usage. We will focus on the review of the three AI chatbots based on the proficiency of their text processing and query answering capabilities. 1. Text processing mode. Without reservation, ChatGPT, and ChatGPT Plus in particular, is the rock star at text processing. Even though Copilot uses GPT-4, Prometheus seems to get in the way of GPT-4 and produce less satisfactory results. Generally speaking, the quality of text written by ChatGPT seems to be superior to Copilot. Gemini has its own flavor and writing style, which can be quite different from ChatGPT. It is worth a trial using both ChatGPT and Gemini to check which style you like better. 2. Search and Query Mode. ChatGPT is not connected to internet search like Gemini or Copilot, so it is very disadvantaged in searching and locating the most up-to-date information. However, even with information related to its pre-trained period, ChatGPT is more reserved and may not answer certain questions. Copilot has similar behavior even though it is connected to Bing search. On the contrary, Gemini seems to have an answer to almost any questions you ask. But be careful, some of the answers are outright incorrect and self-conflicting. It is important for the user to point out the incorrect answers and requests further search and clarification. More proper answers may then be provided. This issue seems to be caused by saving computing power by BARD or Gemini, which are powered by Gemini Pro. Gemini Advanced, subscription version, is powered by Gemini Ultra and has reduced a lot of improper or incorrect answers. Also you can be a bit more playful and humorous with the Gemini family, advanced or not, Gemini will take them in good nature. But don't do that to Copilot, it will just quit the session and will not continue to converse with you. Querying an AI chatbot is very different from traditional internet search, owing to the exceptional natural language processing capabilities NLP, of all chatbots. In the query mode with AI, you can present your questions in natural language, clarify miscommunication, request further clarification, and ask additional questions after more information is provided. I like best to argue with chatbots. It is like you are talking to an expert, or a professional, be it a technician, a doctor, or a lawyer. Trying is believing. User interface. In terms of user experience, ChatGPT and Gemini offer straightforward, user-friendly interfaces while Copilot aims for integration within Microsoft's ecosystem. The choices between these two very different user interfaces depend on the user's specific needs. If you enjoy the information-rich Edge browser and do not mind being distracted by many interesting or breaking headlines, you may enjoy Copilot. If you want to better focus on your work, ChatGPT and Gemini allow you to concentrate on your work. Output is another major concern. You can copy and edit the information, text and images, generated by ChatGPT and Gemini in another software application readily. This is less so when you use Copilot. A lot of extra steps are needed in post-editing after the Copilot text is copied. Just like any applications Microsoft acquired. They would not want to miss any opportunity to integrate, or more exactly, to complicate its already very convoluted software ecosystem.
simple and effective, is a good motto to follow. Google and ChatGPT seem to take this approach more seriously. Microsoft could really use some efforts to simplify its products so they are more friendlier to new or less proficient users. In the long run, Microsoft will gain more audience and users. Practical Applications and Societal Impacts The practical applications of ChatGPT, Gemini, and Copilot extend across various domains, from education and research to business and entertainment. These AI chatbots can assist in study and research, provide professional writing assistance, summarize lengthy documents, and even generate creative content. In the business realm, they can streamline customer service, enhance product descriptions, and automate routine communications. Beyond individual and professional use, the rise of AI chatbots signifies a shift in the digital landscape. They democratize access to information, breaking down barriers for those who may find traditional search engines overwhelming or challenging to navigate. However, this shift also raises important questions about privacy, data security, and the potential for misinformation, necessitating ongoing dialogue and ethical considerations in the development and deployment of AI technologies. The future of AI chatbots. Looking ahead, the future of AI chatbots like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Copilot is boundless. With advancements in AI and machine learning, these tools will become even more sophisticated, offering more personalized and contextually relevant interactions. The integration of AI chatbots into everyday devices and platforms will further blur the lines between human and machine, offering a glimpse into a future where AI is an integral part of our daily lives. In conclusion, ChatGPT, Gemini, and Copilot are at the forefront of a technological revolution, redefining our interactions with the digital world. As we navigate this new frontier, the potential of AI to enhance our capabilities, streamline our tasks, and enrich our understanding of the world around us is unprecedented. These AI chatbots are not just tools but harbingers of a future where technology and humanity converge in ways we are only beginning to understand. Hope you find this video informative and useful. Please subscribe to this channel for any time access to this and other videos. As a subscriber, you can request private videos or playlists by emailing us at ytandsmarttechs at gmail.com. That's all for today. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.